The Bohemian Club was established in 1872 in San Francisco as an exclusive club for political and intellectual figures who wanted to spend some time each year relaxing and interacting in a non-business environment. In other words, a playground for the elite. They began camping at the present site of what's known today as Bohemian Grove, 2,437 acres of private redwood forest sealed off by security. Every midsummer, around 1,500 of the most powerful politicians and businessmen from within and from without the United States attend. Early sources suggest it was established specifically for people who would become part of what we now call the media, basically the people with the power to influence public opinion, artists, writers, movie makers, etc. The all-male membership contains a particularly high number of musicians. Their involvement helps explain the name Bohemian Grove. Every Republican president since 1923 and some Democrats have been members there. Cabinet officials, directors and CEOs of large corporations including major financial institutions also attend. Major military contractors, oil companies, banks including the Federal Reserve, utilities including nuclear power and national media have high ranking officials as club members. The Grove appears to act as an informal doorway to the world of the elite. It's like the equivalent of the outermost circle of a satanic cult or the lowest levels of Freemasonry. People who attend are invited to bring guests with them each year. These guests are then sifted to find the ones who are most potentially useful for their aims. Doors are then opened to the inner circles for these people and they are fast-tracked in their professions, whether it be politics, business or the media. Along with the fast-tracking comes the promise of huge wealth. The newcomers are puffed up with pride and appeals are made to their egotism and selfishness. They are told they are special and have unique gifts and talents. The exclusivity of the event is highlighted and they are made to feel a sense of belonging. This is all designed to transfer their loyalties away from mankind in general, the masses, towards the establishment or the elite. On the first Saturday of the camp, the attendees perform a druid pagan ritual called the Cremation of Care. It begins with a procession of men in red robes and pointed hoods, some playing a funeral dirge and others carrying flaming torches. Transcripts from these rituals have been obtained and include specific references to Babylon and goodly Tyre. Remembering the Prince of Tyre, King of Tyre connection, we know that esoterically this refers to Satan. The cremation of care ceremony has the usual light meaning and dark meaning. The light meaning is that they are casting off their cares and worries so that they can enjoy their holiday. The real dark meaning is that the word care is another word for conscience. Therefore, the ritual represents a cremation or killing of the conscience, which will allow them to plot and partake in evil deeds. Remember how the Jesuits had to play mind tricks on themselves to try and overcome or bypass their conscience. It appears these Masons have a similar problem, and this ritual is a concerted effort to get rid of it. It all takes place in front of this giant owl. Time malevolence, which would pursue us here, has lost its power under these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign, Midsummer sets us free! He shall burn me once again! <laughs> Now with these flames, which hither ye have brought from regions where I reign, ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire. Wow. Grace unto all mortal wisdom. Owl of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. For great owl of Bohemia.
dawn don't care. Fire shall have its will of thee. Be gone, don't care. And all the winds make merry with thy dust. Hail, fellowship's eternal flame. Once again, midsummer sets us free. <laughs> Pretty scary stuff, right? But this is what the elite call a good time on their holidays. Now, most accounts suggest that this owl is the form of Baal called Molech. He is mentioned in the Bible as one who demands child sacrifice and fire. However, the owl imagery aligns it more with Lilith, Athena or Asherah, the goddess in other words. I could be wrong, but it seems more likely that this is an idol for her. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter as both are just facets of Satan. But given what we know about Lilith, it's also interesting that cross-dressing is apparently prevalent at the Grove, as it is with many occult societies that honour her. The Nebraska-based Knights of Axar Ben are reported to participate in a festivity called High Jinks in Hades involving cross-dressing. A similarly named activity goes on at Bohemian Grove, where it is reported that the men and boys parade in women's clothing or dress up as Egyptian goddesses. Gender ambiguity in the ancient Mediterranean world was prevalent wherever the goddess Ishtar or Asherah was worshipped. Indeed, they had cult festivals specifically characterised by cross-dressing. There was one thing I didn't mention about the one dollar bill before. It's an owl that sits in the top right-hand corner seen in this photo. Interestingly, some see a spider in this image instead of an owl. Personally, I believe it's an owl, but it's interesting that this sign exists at the entrance to Bohemian Grove. It reads, Weaving spiders come not here. And so we have a sign here that combines both the owl and the spider. Manly P. Hall confirms and elaborates on what the evidence seems to support. Not only were many of the founders of the United States government Masons, but they received aid from a secret and august body existing in Europe, which helped them to establish this country for a peculiar and particular purpose, known only to the initiated few. Before we finish off this third section covering the Enlightenment era and move on to the present day, we need to explore more about this European secret body who were aiding the establishment of a Masonic America. <laughs> 